What's going on? This is the first episode of Creative Expressions. I'm director Danny E. And what better way to kick it off than with my brother right here, Mr. Brother Gary Smart. He's an artist, author, motivational speaker, a model for his own clothing line. Yes, sir. And um, definitely a great person to know, man. I appreciate you, Gary, for coming on the show. No problem. Thanks for having me, man. I appreciate it. Definitely. Been a minute. Yeah, yeah. it has. It has been. Yes, sir. Man, um, today we're going to talk about uh, what you got going on new, man. Your, your drop of your song. Yeah, yeah, my song, definitely my song. I got um, Lord Thank You by Gary Smart. It's a gospel song. It may not be the songs that y'all hear out there with Kurt Franklin and Donnie McClurk and all of them. I got my own style. Got a little sexy beat to it, you know what I'm saying? It's a, it's, yeah, it's a nice song. It's Lord Thank You. And the reason why I call it Lord Thank You because it's like, thank you, Lord, for waking you up. You know, I don't know how many people may, you know, thank God for waking them up. Brand new day, each day is a brand new day for me. I'm pretty sure it's a brand new day for you because it wasn't, what you're doing today is what you wasn't doing yesterday. So that's why I call it Thank You Lord for a brand new day because uh, sometimes, you know, we may go through a lot of struggles, a lot of trials and tribulations, a lot of aggravation, a lot of depression and with the pandemic going on, but you still thank God for a brand new day because you can breathe each minute each second, each hour is brand new. So that's why that song means a lot to me. Thank you, Lord, for a brand new day. And the song Thank You, Lord, for a brand new day is um, definitely, it means a lot to me. And um, I live that song every day. Every day I thank God for a brand new day. You know what, so I'm wishing that everybody in the world could thank God because what's going on in the situation now, we got the pandemic going on, we got a lot of illness, we got a lot of sickness, but it, I mean, it doesn't matter. You still thank God for a brand new day. Each day is a brand new day. And the song, I mean, trust me, it's an awesome song. Definitely relatable to what's going on in the world. And um, it talks like God watches over you when you don't even expect. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I like that song. It's an awesome song. You can find that song. It's on my website, www.gq-smart.com. That's where the song is on my website. It's on all the platforms right now. I just released it yesterday. It's on all the platforms out there. And um, it's on YouTube. You can check out the video on YouTube also. It's a powerful song with a beautiful message. It's a message in every word on that song. I actually had the privilege of getting this song early when you first dropped <laughs> yeah. it. That was one of the first I remember that. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember uh, I was in the drive through with Zaxby's. Mm -hmm. Sitting here, man. Man, the song had brought tears to my what? Yeah, man. It was yeah. just like it really brought a warm feeling, you know, uh -huh. and um, just being thankful for everything, you know, just brand new day, but just for everything, you know, just gratitude that you have. Right, um, right. Your song has a, a very uh, good message and mm -hmm. it's something that you should wake up in the morning listening to, you know, get into the, the spirit of the day. And it's, right, it's right. Number one, um, Rule of prosperity is gratitude yep, yep. for what you already have. So yeah, that's true. Your, your song hits on all those points. Well, I appreciate that because, boy, when I played it to you, I'm like, he liked this song. Remember? Man, you know what I'm saying? Because you know, tell, <laughs> you know what, man? He like, I've been right like, what he got going on? <laughs> I said, yo, you got to listen to this song. So I played it. He said, man, you need to let me get that. <laughs> you went off of me. I like it. I like it. Yeah. I know your 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 artist, your model, you, you keeping it going, man. Yeah, sure. You have you haven't stopped. How long have you been uh, doing it? I've been doing. Let me say tell you, I've been wanting to do my music for a while. You know, I love singing. I, I used to sing R&B back then. I used to sing talent shows, concerts, and stuff like that. I used to do back. I just did a background with um Jawan Harris and his girl that um. Black Black Lives Matter song. Mm -hmm. I was in the background doing that. But I just like singing. I like singing. I know I'm, what, 59 years old? Man, 59 you know, years man. young or whatever the case may be. You know, but thank God for that because um, I believe in if it's something you want to do, there's no limit. Mm -hmm. 
until God step in and say, okay, enough is enough. You know what I'm saying? So I feel that it's no limit. You can do whatever you want to do. So I model, I've been modeling back then. I said, hey, let me just start working out, get back where I want to go. Because it's a happy feeling, it's a happy place in your life. But a lot of stuff that's going on, you need to tap into some happiness in your life. Stuff that makes you feel happy and motivate you and push you. So that's why I said, I'm, I'm gonna do a song. And like they said with gospel, you can be 80, 100 years old and still sing gospel. Now rapping, that's not my lane. I won't even do that if I try, you know. But I just like gospel songs and I don't mind singing gospel. I love singing. I love worshiping the Lord. It brings a lot of joy to my heart. It keeps me youthful. It makes me feel good because if I'm working for God, He's working for me. We're working together. And that keeps me inspired and keeps me motivated. So what are your goals for the song? What, what, what would be the end result for you? My song, if it just touch a couple souls and change a couple lives, that's all that matters to me. It's really not about the money. It's about touching the souls and changing people. If you listen to the words, it can change a person just as they're going through something and they listen to it and they change them. I'm fine with that. I'm not trying to be all up in the, the stars and all that. As long as I did my message and doing what the Lord had me to do and I'm reaching people and touching souls like that, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. I just want everybody to like it, you know, but sometimes everything is not for everybody. You feel me? So, hey, long as it touches some people and they understand it and, and, and bring some kind of happiness in their life or whatever the case may be, because a lot of people now hit me up on Facebook. A lot of women hit me up. You know what? I really like that song. I think about that song every time I wake up. Thank you, Lord, for a brand new day. And I done did my job. My job is done. So, you know, hey. So what's next? You got the song, you got your song out on all platforms. Mm -hmm. um, you still pushing your book? Yeah, I'm still pushing my book, Life After Death Behind the Screen Door. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of good messages in the book. Um, there's a lot of positive things going on in the book and hope somebody can grab the book and read it and stuff like that. And it helped them out whatever situation or whatever they're experiencing at that time. Well, you know, to be honest, that was the first time I ever did a book cover. Really? Yeah. And that was awesome. You told that, me. <laughs> you said, nah, you can do it. I was like, all right. Yeah. My, uh -oh. I said, man, come on. Awesome book cover. You did a great job. I mean, he said, we've been rocking, though, for a minute. Yeah. Man, I appreciate you believe me. Yeah. You were one of the people that always, at every point, when I feel that media may not be for me, you always reach out and say, nah, we're doing this. Yeah, exactly. You, doing this. you be like, man, I can't. I'm like, really? Come on, dog, really? <laughs> you can do this, man. Cause, I mean, because I know I see your skills. Even when we had the fashion show and I had the model, you came and shot that, and you did a great job. You know, I'm coming to the fashion show, for sure. Yeah, you yeah, can't do the fashion show. I, I know. Your grandma. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean, you did a great job there, you know, and I, and I appreciate that. That's why I know I say, I got to stick with you. You know, I got to stick. I say, look. Anything going on, I gotta call Daniel, man. Well, your your belief in yourself, it spills out into other people. Mm -hmm. You know, you you believe in yourself so much that you cause me to believe in myself, mm -hmm. even oh, okay. if sometimes that I don't. That's what's up, man. You Definitely. Know, I'm like, man, he 80 and still kicking it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I still got a chance, man. Yeah. You know? Even with all the stuff I've gone through by losing my son, what, a couple of years ago, motorcycle accident and stuff like that. But you know, God had already prepared me for things like that, you know? So, and I know people saying, well, God, God, yes. Because if you get a whiff of it, it just takes your mind off a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? And let you know, hey, if you live long enough, things gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? And so, I mean, my, but I got my grandkids, I spend time with and stuff like that. So I'm still in a happy place in my life. It's not like a depressing moment because I know we all got to go where we got to go and meet where we, whoever we're going to meet and whatever the case may be. So where can they find your book at? My book is on um, Amazon.com, OutskirtPress.com, ebook. You can find it on my website, www.gq-smart.com. And um, it's um, Barnes and Noble, pretty about 600 top selling books. And it was um, in the store, um, Tall Tales Bookstore, 2160 La Vista Road. You put your work in. Yes. How do you find time to, to do your? 
creativity and to work with creativity at the same time you still work. Uh, right, 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 right. Because the one thing, if I'm gonna start something, I gotta finish it. And I'm gonna make time. And because if this is what you want, for yourself or for other people to see your work, you got to make time. You definitely got to make time. You know, because if that's where your bread and butter or whatever, you, whatever you're aiming for, you got to make time. And you should never say, well, I'm too busy to do this and another. You make time. If this is your project, make time. If it ain't but 20 minutes out of the day to make time to do it, you got to go to work, okay? Sometimes I take myself to work. On my breaks, I'm working on it, you know? Because I want to give the best. I just don't want to just throw something out there. You know, just like my clothes line, like my shirt, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You gotta put you gotta put time and energy in what you want. Cause the more time you put in whatever it is, it can be a better outcome. Now you got we covered your music, covered your book. Now we got the clothes you got on your back. Yes sir. Yes sir. <laughs> They're your clothes. Yes, they're my clothes. No but uh Man. Real Renaissance man. Yes, yes. Since yes. the Renaissance. Since the Renaissance. <laughs> what? <laughs> it don't stop. <laughs> no, but um, I got my clothing line. GQ Smart Collection. This is one of my shirts. I have belts. I have everything. I have a, a lot of things. The reason why I call it GQ Smart Collection because I want to go to high end. I just don't want to make something that's going to fade are gonna draw up on you, whatever the case may be. So I go for good material. So I have people in London making my stuff. Oh. Everything coming straight from London. I got the shirts, I got the shoes, I got women's tights, I got women's dresses, men bow ties, I got mouse pads, everything. I'm trying to touch everything. I know a lot of people like to um, go by their Fendi and their Prada and their Versace and all that, but that stuff repeats itself. My stuff is not gonna repeat itself. Every time it's gonna be something different, different style. We're trying to bring something, I'm, what I'm trying, what I hope to get out of here is just get it out in the industry, or get it in the world nationwide where they can say, hey, we got GQ Smart Collection. You know, we got GQ Smart stuff out here, you know? And that's what I'm aiming for with that, definitely. Because I'm trying to be up there with, the, with, the, with um, Tom Ford, Tom Hilfiger, I'm trying to be up there with all of them. I'm trying to go that direction. You get the whole package. Yes, I'm serious. That's you what get I'm doing. Uh, Gary Smart Dropbox. There you go. <laughs> I'm telling you. Who? Oh. Got the book, got the music, the clothes. But I like your shirt, man. Yeah, what you. other kind of clothes you got? You got you said you had the polo. I got the polo the shirt. The polo shirt that um with the GQ Smart logo. Okay. The one that just gave you that one. Yeah. 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 I was acting like you didn't give it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh um, right, yeah, and shoes and Trying to get some socks, and guess what? I'm coming up with the dog line, the dog apparel, because you know a lot of people love their dogs. GQ dogs. Yeah, I'm trying to get sweaters and shirts and stuff. Cause a couple of ladies asked, "Do you got anything for dogs?" And you know people are crazy about their dogs. Come on now. Some people are just crazy. <laughs> there you go. But as long as they're crazy, spinning at the same time, I'm good. <laughs> so dog line coming soon. Yes. Rock Wilders. The Pit bulls. Hot dog dog. Yeah. <laughs> Pitbull with skinny GQ jeans. <laughs> you know, so, uh, GQ suit strings, GQ yeah. grits. I'm telling I'm trying to do it, y'all. So, watch, I'm telling you. It's gonna happen. I GQ believe order. that. I'm gonna speak that into the atmosphere. That's what's up, man. Um, so what, what's, what you got coming up for the rest of the year? Well, I got an um, interview up in North Carolina at this radio station, WJ. IZ or something in North Carolina. I have an interview on the 16th of November. And then I'm doing a, a motivation speaking up in Philly at this um, library in Philly. Mm -hmm. And then I have this, I have a lot of connections. I have this other woman, she working on another um, fashion show that they want me to bring some of my clothes and model, you know, have some models and stuff like that. And then next, in January, this young lady in Miami, she has, a, um, she does a, a, a gala every year where they have music, they have models and stuff like that. They want to use some of my clothing, so I got to get everything on point so I can ship it down there. Okay. Yeah. Definitely, man. We're going to be looking out for you. We got a, a award show coming on at the end of the year, award fashion show, so make sure you put your clothes in there. Oh, what? Really? Yeah. That's yeah. what's up. Matters. Just yeah. let me know what you what you need. I got it. Okay. I mean, I'm serious on. though. No, we uh, put my order in for sponsorship. Oh, that's okay. I don't mind doing that because you got to give in order to get. Exactly. You know, and I don't mind doing that. I don't mind. So, ain't no problem. Just let me know. I got you. Uh, we let you know it's the end of the year. So.
www.gq-smart.com. And you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram at GQ Smart, or GQ Smart too. But still check out my video, Lord Thank You, on YouTube. Gary Smart, check it out. It's a nice video, nice song, fire. Lord Thank you. And it, it's very solid. It's going to touch you, I guarantee you. I see it. All right, just thank you for uh, tuning in for the first episode of Creative Expressions. You can find us on all platforms of Creative Expressions. We are definitely on iTunes and Apple Music, streaming on all podcast platforms. If you would like to be on Creative Expressions and have an opportunity to express yourself in front of our millions of followers, then make sure you hit us up with an email, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Appreciate you. Be easy, take care, keep God first. Prosperity and wealth comes after hard work. That's what's up, man. I appreciate that. Man, I appreciate you, man. Proud of y'all. Man, thank you. That's bro. what I'm talking about. Thank you. Keep it moving. Yes, sir. That's what's up. Don't stop. Won't stop. That's the it. Is. Records. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you. Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you. A brand new day. A brand new day. Everything will be alright. Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you. Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you for a brand new day. A brand new day. Everything will be alright. Faith is trust. Praying is a request. Believing is true. I'll put my trust. Thank you.